After getting used responses from the learners of our QGIS Level 1 course, now we have published our QGIS Level 2. Now you have a question what we are going to learn in this course. In this course, we will learn advanced GIS tasks by using QGIS. See this 2.5D map which is developed by using QGIS and in this course, we will learn this also how to create this 2.5D map. Not only that, there are many magical tips and tricks are waiting for you in this course. We can present bar diagram using the feature inside shapefile. In here, these features are bar diagram inside this map. So, in this course, we will learn how to present bar diagram inside map by using features of shapefile. We will learn advanced editing toolbar for advanced editing in QGIS interface. We will learn all tools inside this advanced digitizing toolbar for our advanced shapefile editing work purpose. And there is more highlights inside this course. We will learn a very interesting and dynamic task in our GIS project, which is grid map. Yes, in this course, we are going to learn in detail about map layout and how to create a grid map in map layout. If you can create a grid map, that means you are expert in QGIS map layout by which you can present any kind of your map dynamically with interactive designed and in organized way. We will learn advanced level inside the map. See the level of this map, which is dynamic level created by using QGIS. We will learn advanced symbologies in both point feature, line feature and polygon feature comparing with ArcGIS. See this heat map which is developed by using QGIS and we can do this very easily. We will learn about point displacement and also point cluster. We will learn what is field calculator and code expressions inside field calculator, how to use field calculator in QGIS interface and what type of dynamic tools and options we have in field calculator of QGIS interface. How to present your population based research in your map smartly, easily by using this interface. How to create dynamic symbology and how to apply rule inside our layer visibility and symbology. See this map, in this zoom level, we can't see any road. When we zoom in, in South Dakota, we can see the road inside South Dakota. We will learn how to create this layer visibility. When I zoom out, the road is invisible. When I zoom in, this road is visible. Same as like our base map. After certain zoom level, a particular feature will be visible and invisible, whatever you want. You can do this by using QGIS and all of this we will learn in this course. And remember, in GIS, nothing is impossible, just ways are different. We need to find that suitable way. So, all the best and if you want to play with all of this to enjoy GIS in the field of QGIS, then enroll in this course.